So this is the latest in my game inspired looks and it's Yoshi, um, if you couldn't tell by the beginning intro. Um, it's very green, it's got a bit of red, a bit of gold and nude lips um, and stay tuned and you'll see how I did it. So I've already primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm going to put on some Crayolan. It's the Aqua Colour and it's in UV Green. And I'm going to get a brush, obviously wet, because you can't use Crayola and Dry. And I'm going to get that brush there. It's, I think, by Ruby and Millie, which you can get in Boots. I'm just going to get that wet. And that's going to go all over the eyelid, apart from in the inner corner. It's not going underneath, because um, the underneath isn't going to be green. So I'm just going to pat that on. Mm, it's too dry. Now you don't want the Crayolan too wet because then it will come out like really creasy and really streaky but then again you don't want it too dry because then it won't actually come out at all. So you want it just right. And I want it really rounded because obviously you know Yoshi like doesn't have harsh lines or anything to him. He's a very sweet character. So it's all going to be very, very rounded and very, but still like really bright. So there's the Crayolan, it doesn't really matter if it's completely like straight or anything because it's going to get shadow put on top of it. Um, first shadow I'm going to put on top of it is Lime Green by Barry M. It's that one there. And it's like this green that's got like a little bit of a silver glimmer to it, which I quite like. And that's going to go on with my chisel fluff, that brush there. I'm just going to pack it into the brush by using the lid just because otherwise it's going to fall out all over my keyboard. And that's going to go all over the Crayolan. Just to set the colour. I'm going to really get it into that corner, just so that there's no harsh lines between where there's bare skin and where there's Crayolan. Because I'm going to put an inner corner highlight there. So that's why I didn't want Crayola in there. Okay. Then I'm going to go for Green Glimmer by 17. And that's going to go on the outer half and a little bit into the crease. I'm just going to take the same brush. So it's just going to get patted on because I don't want to sort of rub too much and like streak the Crayola or anything because I think I put it on a bit too wet. Um, it's not too bad but I just don't want to chance it going streaky because it's such a nice colour. Alright, then I'm going to go for an inner corner highlight and to achieve this I'm going to get a pale green eyeliner and I'm using Big Colour by Avon in Hint of Mint. It's that one there. And that's going to go just into the corner and down underneath the eyes a bit. And an inner corner highlight's really good because it really opens your eyes up um, so that they're not too, like, because this is quite a, a dark colour. Well, it's not really that dark, but if you're wearing a darker colour, it just really helps them to pop. So I'm going to use the white from my Sleek palette. And this is the Sleek Acid palette. I'm going to be doing a review in a minute because I bought it today and I absolutely love it. I'm going to take my angle brush from the Body Shop just so that I can really place it where I want to. I'm just going to get it on the outer corner there and just really pack it on top of the Avon and it'll sort of go white with just that little hint of green which is really nice because if it was too stark white it just really wouldn't look right next to the lime green so you can see it's a very 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 pale green but it really does help open up the eyes. I'm also going to take my chisel fluff which still has a bit of the green on it but not too much and I'm going to use that white as a brow highlight 
just so it's again like white with a very slight hint of green just to lift the brows a bit there we go all right now the next bit is the under eye and the under eye is pulling inspiration from his shoes um on my model here they're like brown but on pictures i've seen he has red and red and gold shoes so i'm going to do the red and gold ones because they're a lot more fun and i'm going to take the angle brush i'm just going to brush off all the white that's on there i'm going to take my gold by golden rose um as i said before i think this is discontinued um the whole range of golden rose i really need to look that up because i really like that um so just use any gold really and that's going to go onto the angle brush and that's going to go underneath on the lower lash line of the whole of the eye and I really really want that bright goldeny sort of colour on the inside as you can see there then I'm going to take my deep red by Stargazer which is this gorgeous colour there and that's going to go not too much underneath but just sort of I'm going to take it into the first half and then blend it in because if you take it all the way around it just looks like you've been crying which is not really the look I'm going for I'm just going to pat that on and I'm doing it bit by bit because if you get a bit of red on your foundation it's basically gone you have to redo your foundation so you can see there it does actually look like I've been crying um, so I'm going to blend that out with some gold, and this is, I don't, I, I think it's by Obala, I'm not sure, I got it in a big set off of eBay, but it's basically just a bronzy gold. Um, you could use Stargazer, do some really, really nice bronzy colours, or you could just basically use anything, and that's just going to go at the middle, between the gold and the red and get blended, but generally blending the red out rather than into the gold. And it's also just going to go a bit on top of the red. And then the red's going to get blended into the green with a small brush. I'm going to take... Ooh, which brush to use? I'm going to take my fluffy one. I'm just going to get rid of all the white on there. And I'm going to take a bit of Max Swimming. Is that one there? That's just going to blend the red. A bit and also in the middle of the green I'm gonna take the bright green from my acid palette and that's because like the middle of Yoshi's nose is quite bright so I just wanted that brightness in the middle and then just take a clean brush so I'm going to take this one here and just blend the colors all in together okay and I'm going to go away and I'm going to put some liquid black liner on the top. I'm going to put some pencil black liner on the bottom. I'm also going to get rid of this smudge I've got here. And I'm going to put mascara, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've put mascara, eyeliner and, well, pencil and liquid eyeliner. And I'm now going to put on a blush. I just want something quite sheer, so I'm going to use my new one by Body Shop, which is in Hot Bright's Blush 01. It's that one there. And I actually have a blusher brush now. I bought it from the body shop today. Um, it was really good. It cost me, I think it's normally £12, but they had 20% off makeup. And also I've got a 10% off thing. So I bought that and some other stuff. But I'll talk about that in a minute when I do my acid eyeliner review. Eyeshadow review. And I'm going to put on a nude lip colour. So I'm going to get my lip liner, which is by Laura Geller. And that's just going to go on the outside of my lips. Okay, so I've done my lips and I had the Laura Gala liner on the outside. Then I put Dare to Bear, which is by Seventeen. That one on the inside, um, on the lips. And um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it and more looks coming up soon. Bye.